the D3 was uh, an attempt by Willesco to reduce the cost of their engines which had traditionally been very expensive and still are most of them it succeeded in that they produced an engine to reasonable price but from an engineering perspective it was not a great success And filling the boiler, for instance, you're supposed to judge the water level through those two tiny windows there. Well, the level is, for all intents and purposes, invisible through those windows. Now, I just, from past experience, I know that. Uh, it takes 50 millilitres of water, so I use the uh, graduations on the syringe rather than the uh, trying to look through the windows. Burn for some reason is also not very good unless I'm using the wrong size of Esbit tablets, which is possible. Um, the decoration on the top of the chimney here is uh, made of plastic. And seeing as the uh, the heat actually comes from the burner straight up the chimney, plastic is not a brilliant idea. One novel aspect of the design of this uh, cylinder here, this oscillating cylinder, is that the trunnion bolt is behind the two ports, or below, depending on how you look at the piston. Um, I'm not so sure that's a good idea. But uh, it seems to work. It's probably cheaper to make that way.
the exhaust steam exhaust straight out of the back of the port block here can be a bit messy but it's probably a good idea when using Esbit because this bit gets a bit, uh, a bit nasty when it gets down. There's a postman just uh, making a delivery. Um, now that's the burner run out. Um, that is where I, in the past, I've tended to finish the video, but um, I thought in this case um, In the past I've always shown something of the setting up and starting up of the engine but uh, I haven't actually shown anything about what I do after it's uh, finished so I'll do that in this case. Now the first thing I do is take the burner out just in case the uh, the water has run out but in this case I think the uh, the fuel has burned out completely. The next thing I do is to remove the safety valve. Now this is to um, to prevent a, a partial vacuum building up in the boiler uh, and sucking oil back in from the piston, from the cylinder. It's uh, a good idea to do that. Now, next thing is to suck the remains of the boiler contents out of the boiler. It's a very bad idea to uh, To leave water in a boiler for more than a short while and then soak up some of the condensate and give the engine a general sort of wipe over. Now at this stage I don't put the safety valve back, I leave it out uh, and in fact I leave it out for a long, as long as I can basically to let the boiler dry out. But uh, I'm put the plastic chimney cowl back on so we don't lose that. And try not to lose the safety valve. So put the burner tray back in. And that's it, I can go back on the shelf now.